Okay, let's solve a system using substitution. You might remember this problem from the first uh, lesson we had where we formulated the system. Horatio has 57 coins consisting of nickels, dimes, and quarters. He has twice as many dimes as nickels. If the coins are worth a total of $7.25, write and solve a system of equations that can be used to determine how many of each coin Horatio has. So, let's get our equations there. All right, that's the uh, total amount there. Nickels, dimes, and quarters. All right, twice as many um, dimes as nickels. And we know that each we know that each nickel is five, each dime is ten, and each quarter is twenty-five cents for a total of seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Here I left everything in cents, so I wouldn't have to deal with any decimals. All right, so that's the formulation. That's the system. So now let's solve the system using substitution. And what's good about this system, the reason why you want to use substitution here, if you're doing this by hand, is that one of the equations is already solved for one of the for one of the variables. We know what d is. D is 2n. So we can use the substitute. We can substitute 2n for d in either in both of the other equations there, and that's going to make things go a lot faster. So if I substitute uh, 2n for d, then all of a sudden I got n plus 2n plus q is 27 for this top for equation number 1, and equation number 2 becomes 5n plus 20n plus 25q. So the d's are eliminated because I substituted them. Note that when you had 2 times d, that is the same thing as 10, sorry, when you have 10 times d, that's the same as 10 times 2 n. 10 times 2 n is 20 n. That's where that came from. So now we only, when we simplify these equations, we end up with n plus 2 n is 3 n and 5 n plus 20 n is 25 n. Now we have a 2 by 2. Two equations and two unknowns, which is a lot easier to solve. We can solve this and figure out what n and q are. So we got another equation here that we can substitute. Notice that Q is by itself. I can solve this 3N plus Q equation for Q. Just basically subtract 3N from both sides. And now Q, I have a substitute for Q, 57 minus 3N. So I'm going to substitute Q equals to 57 minus 3N in to uh, both of the other, well, actually into just the other equation. So I'm going to substitute this equation in the other equation. All right. So here is 25n plus 25 times what q is equals 725. And we're going to distribute the 25. And then we're going to simplify 25n minus 75n is a negative 50n. All right, we're going to subtract 1425 from both sides. That's where that negative 700 came from. Divide both sides by negative 50, and you're going to get n is equal to 14. So there are 14 nickels. All right, there are 14 nickels. And so now that we know how many the nickels are, we know that since there are 14 nickels, 2 times 14 is 28. There are 28 dimes, right? And since there are, now we know how many nickels, we know how many dimes. Now we can, all right, there it is, 14 nickels. Now we can substitute both of these values into the top equation, uh, working our way backwards. We don't know what Q is. 14 plus 28 is 42. 42 plus Q is 57. Subtract 25, 20, Subtract 42 from both sides, Q is 15. So now we have solved the system. There are 14 uh, nickels, 28 dimes, and 15 quarters. That's how you solve using substitution.